What's up, folks? It's your boy Bob Hollywood with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Um, you see what's in front of us is this, it looks like a pinata. It's the Fortnite Llama Drama Loot Pinata. Wow, they really, they really did that. That's the name of this product, the Llama Drama Loot Pinata. For four inch figures, there's 23 pieces inside. Let me lower my camera for you so you can see that. There's 23 f pieces inside, not 23 figures. That would have been, that would have been awesome, actually. But, um, this is Rush Lord, so one of the three figures I do not have anymore. Well, one of the three figures I need it um, comes with an assault rifle, rocket launcher, legendary assault rifle, bolt, bolt action sniper rifle, legendary burst assault rifle, suppressed submachine gun, light machine gun, drum gun, pump shot gun, grenade launcher, scaly, I don't know what a scaly is, a cuddle bow, satchel, bright bag, and eight building materials, and the collector's guide, which is just a little piece of paper. And weapons, backpack, bling, back, excuse me, weapons, back blings, and building materials for four-inch figures. So, yeah, this was cool. I, um, I needed three figures. Obviously, this is from 2018, so last year came out. I needed three figures, Russ Lord, Raven, and, uh, Jonesy. And I was like, where, I was going to post online, like, where can I find those figures? I heard rumblings of a pinata, but I didn't know, unless I was like the stuffed animals. So, uh, it's cool. I found this in Walmart. I could have bought it that day, but I wasn't in there for that. So I was like, I'll come back. The next day was payday. So I was like, I'll wait for payday. And um, lo and behold, I bought it. I bought it on payday. So that's all it's plastic. Well, not all the plastic. There's some more. But this little box is cool, man. I'm going to see how well it holds up. I don't think I'll keep the box because that's just how you become a hoarder. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool if you ask me. It's cool just for the pinata. <laughs> so, um, obviously, I don't know how to open this. I'm going to pull this. Looks like it's satchel. I don't know. I don't know how to open this. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. It's a pinata, bro. I just want Russ Lord. Let's see. Here's the, uh, the collector's guide it mentions. Let's look at it. I don't know. I don't know why I'm looking. I forgot what Russell it looks like. Or I don't know what it looks like. So Russ Lord, okay. Kinda looks like Star Lord. Let's get this bitch open. Nothing in the head. This is dump out his goodies. Okay. It's a lot of shit in here. And they even put like fake pinata glitter shit. That's annoying. God, this is messy. Give me a second. Alright. So I'm back. You have no idea how long that took to get everything out of the individual bags and set up like this to figure out which weapons were which. I had to take this back out of the, um, the trash it was in because I had no fucking clue what each weapon was. I mean, certain things like the pump shotgun and the drum gun and the sniper rifle and the rocket launcher, that shit was easy. But other than that, no, I didn't know. Um, so let me just push these back a little bit. So you see everything. Obviously, it comes with the most amount of weapons. And he comes with the most amount of backpacks or whatever. Um, this one's for Rex. This one's for Cuddle Team Leader. This one looks like it's for like, um, I want to say Jonesy. And then this one is for um, Bright Bomber. So that's cool. Um, this is the figure in question. This is Russ Lord. Um, he does still kind of look like a retro, like Star Lord kind of. From the MCU, not from the comics. His mask reminds me of Star Lord in a lot of ways. It's a pretty cool mask helmet however you want to word it again with all the figures pretty good detailing you can see where they reused parts which is fine like the legs tend to be reused but it's fine um there's only i only saw like this little blemish here on his shin my camera decides it wants to focus and um let's go over and see if there's any more could have been a little bit better painting right there but not bad. I did notice that his right arm was stiff. I don't, I don't know what that means. But his right arm was stiff. Like, I was able to bend this arm, his left arm, but his right arm was kind of stiff. So, it bent. It's, it's, it's kind of loose, but not loose. Like, it's free. It's not loose. Loose is the wrong word. But yeah, that's him. That's his, uh, his, at least his, uh, painting. And he, he's got a pretty good scope. I like the blue and the red. Um, the green pants kind of throws it off, but yeah, it's cool. I like how his uh, shin guards are different. That's different. That's I like that. 
So from the back, he looks like Christmas red and green. In the front, he has a blue scarf. These things are cool. Cool. I'm not going to lie. These I love these figures. Let's go over his articulation. So his head starts there. Goes down that much. Goes up not much. I don't know if, it's, if that's as far as it's going to go or if it's because of the collar of his jacket. But it's not going to go up any further. Rotates. Eh, it doesn't rotate. Eh, it rotates 360 if you turn it to the left. I'm turning it to the right, and I got it. So it does rotate 360. I'm going to make sure you do it. The collar was giving me some trouble. He goes far and beyond the Jesus Christ pose. And his arms rotate 360 degrees at the shoulder. Both arms. And you already saw me doing the bend in his elbows, which is nowhere near 90 degrees, but his arms also rotate 360 degrees at that elbow. <laughs> you may hear my cat in the background. He's like right underneath me, meowing for whatever reason. Um, two points of articulation at the waist. Rotates fine at the one right above the hip. Gives me some resistance to the one between the chest and the uh, stomach, which is cool. Legs go out super far. His left leg is hindered by this pouch. It doesn't go out as far. But he's still got pretty good motion, a range of motion. Legs go out that far. Go back not very far at all. Double jointed knees. Which allows him to sit pretty well. I was playing around with a bandolier last night. They were able to cross their legs. No articulation on the legs. Like the, there's the thigh right there. I don't know why I was saying no articulation. Now, if they had the wrist, and they not the wrist, if they had that right here, that'd be even cooler. Maybe the next round. Um, and then his feet, rockers, and they twist. It's really a pivot. Now, I didn't notice any issues with him standing. I mean, he seems like he doesn't want to stand. Oh, he's standing up pretty straight. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? Let's get his height. He is approximately four inches. Uh, am I going to compare him to a figure? Why not? Rex, I mean, not Rex. Raptor is the first one that came up. So, he's taller than Raptor. But he's got all these weapons. He's got a shitload of weapons. I mean, obviously, they're all the weapons can go for anybody. But he's got this rocket launcher. I was just messing around. I had um, I'd given one of the characters a rocket launcher. and um, But it was a rocket launcher that came with a uh, dozer from the core. And it still worked. This one works a little bit better for these figures' hands. I'm going to put this backpack on him. May not go on him because it was cotton. Nope, it goes on him. No problem. He's got the scaler, I believe it's called. Scaly. So that's cool. What else? Fits all the backpacks. <laughs> uh, that's cool, man. That's, that's, my favorite, I think, is this light machine gun. Because it's for prone combat. It's going to be down on the ground with it. He can't particularly look up, but other characters can. And I also like this, this shotgun. I like the grip on it. Yeah, they could benefit greatly from if they had just right there. Like, he can't pump it. He can hold it, but he can't pump it. He can't get that realistic range of motion. And then not all figures can, but it would be cool if he could. But anyway, guys, that's my review on Rush Lord. I do like him. He is, I think the... 10th figure? 11th figure I reviewed? 11th. And he's in the bottom half, but I like him. He's not horrible. He's not a bad figure. He's just at the bottom half. There's only a few I don't like more than him. Or I don't like, but I dislike more than him, rather. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let all your homies know where to find me. B.O.B. And that's right here at Bob's Holly World. I appreciate it. See you next time.